Hey guys, it's Glenn from glenscarcollection.com and we are driving a Ferrari Portofino. All right, so first thing, when you drive this, the signal is on the steering wheel. Don't look for the directional stock. We're gonna take this uh, up some back roads, through some nice twisties, pull over, take a look at the exterior and interior, hit those twisties a second time, and then back to the dealership. So special thanks to DCH Acura in Verona, New Jersey for allowing me to drive this car. They always have like 80 exotics there. I'll call them Glen cars. Ferraris, Lamborghinis, McLarens, uh, not exotics, Corvettes, Porsches, M3s, M4s, AMGs. So as you know, I do all my film, most of my filming there for a reason because they have some amazing cars. All right. So now this has a, th you hear this amazing Ferrari sound. So this replaced the uh, Ferrari California. So it is a hard top convertible and it's been just replaced again by the uh, Roma. It's a uh, automated manual that you could shift yourself. I'm driving in manual mode, of course. I think that gives you the best driving experience. Now, well, even though we're in manual mode, it will downshift me all the way to first. So you gotta be careful. You don't wanna be in second thinking you're in third and hit the downshift button and downshift yourself into first. It's powered by a 3.9 liter twin turbo V8 producing, get this, 590 horsepower. It is amazingly fast. Gas mileage, who cares about gas mileage? This car option up, I believe was in the threes. It's a very highly optioned car. Very simple layout here. I love the noise of the Ferrari. I th honestly, I think you can't beat it. We'll take it up to some uh, high-end roads. So some things I notice here, somehow my heated seat is on, which I didn't ask for. <laughs> so it is getting toasty in here, but it is winter. So we gotta be careful for traction. There's no salt on the roads, so it is safe to drive it. I wish I could find this heated seat and turn it off. If you're used to Ferraris, the controls are the same. You got the engine start button, the signals, uh, the, the different modes. We're in sport mode here. Since this is not my car, I will keep it in sport mode. It's very comfortable, it really is. I love these seats. Again, a very highly optioned car. We're gonna go up here and take some twisties. Then we'll pull over, take a look at the interior and exterior. So again, we're gonna signal. I'm always looking for the stalk, but the signal is on the steering wheel. It takes a, it take me a while to get used to that. All right, now we're gonna downshift to second. We got a front engine car, so it's not gonna be as nimble as the mid-engine cars. Sounds amazing though. But I, I feel like the steering wheel is too high because I can adjust the steering wheel here, see this? But I can't adjust, the dashboard is already too high. So for me to see the top of the tachometer, I have to keep the steering wheel too high, which feels too high for me. I like a nine and three grip and it's just, it's pretty high. All right, I think the tires have a little warmth. Now, unlike the Gallardo we just got out of, uh, this car is a much newer car, about 13 years newer. So the dual clutch, well, that's a single clutch in the Gallardo. The dual clutch is uh, really good. Is it as good as Porsche PDK? It wouldn't be fair to judge it on such a short test drive, but PDK, I think, is even telepathic. If I could only shut this heated seat off. You know, once you're in the car with climate control, you don't really need anything. So it kind of drives me crazy. I'd rather be cold than hot. All right. Hope you like this sunset drive. In the winter, it gets dark here about 4.30, so. All right, so we're gonna signal left again on the steering wheel. Nice flat bottom steering wheel here. Plenty of power, great sound. This is like your everyday Ferrari. You buy one of these, you know, the 488, you're gonna make some compromises. Though I love the 488 and the 458. I do like the 488 better. The 458, I just doesn't think it has a modern enough gearbox. But this is a modern Ferrari and does have a modern gearbox. And you just got so much power here. You got a red line of about 7,500 RPM. Oh my. It handles really well. I'm impressed with the handling. Like, I never thought the California handled well. This actually handles well. This is a driver's car. 
All right, signal again. Still can't get used to that on the steering wheel, but that's probably why I don't own a Ferrari that in, you know, $300,000. All right, so let's see if we can get some sunset shots right here with the sun going down. I do not want to shut the car off, so I'm going to, parking brake is down here, guys. So I think that's what hold means. I hope that's what it means. All right, so let's get out and walk around the car. All right, so here we are with the Portofino. We got two Ferrari keys. Aren't these keys the coolest keys? Probably one of the best keys I've seen, honestly. I like these keys. I like Porsches. Again, you have the twin turbo V8, that 590 horsepower. Now this car is a very highly optioned car, so it has ceramic brakes. You can see by the texture here. Very high option car has, I think, almost every option. You got the Scuderia Shields. Now this car really sounds amazing with this dual exhaust, listen to it. Amazing sound, right? Beautiful looking car. Hard top convertible, it's very cold today, so we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna take it down, but uh, amazing, amazing car. So let's get back in it and hit those twisties. Before we go, let's take a look at the interior real quick. So you have all the gauges here, the tachometer front and center. The speedometer, smaller and to the right, the way it should be, because the tachometer is always the most important. The parking brake here, when we take it off, the hold goes away. You have the paddles and they're actually just like the Lamborghini attached to the, uh, uh, the steering column, not the wheel itself. So that when we turn, it's a little hard sometimes to hit the signal because when you're all the way over, now you gotta reach for the signal, remember, which is left and right. So we're gonna engage it with first gear by flicking the right paddle and now we'll head back to DCH Acura. We're gonna again signal left, which I keep forgetting to do. Heated seat is still on. Amazing handling car, given that it's a GT. I really, I really like this car. Usually I would say like, you know, 488 all the way, something like that. I loved uh, driving Rob Peretti's 488 Spider, and then here DCH Acura, I did their 488. I think that was a Spider as well, the yellow one, which I really loved. But let me tell you something, if you're gonna wanna do some miles, I don't know, this is the car I think I would take. Track or back roads only, 488. Going out to dinner with your significant other, or just uh, me driving two hours in each way to look at real estate for one of my clients, uh, I think I'll take this car. <laughs> The only thing I need to learn is how to shut it off this heated seat. All right, it's getting dark, so this will be our last review of the day. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I have 900 videos. I post two to three videos a week. Typically, it's 7 a.m. Eastern. So if you want to know exactly when they're posted, subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right. And what do you do on the days I don't post? You have 900 car reviews to watch at this channel, probably the most of any YouTube channel. Let's see if we can figure out this heated seat thing. This is how we would put the top up and down. Uh, the window switches are here. Uh, auto controls, I don't know, a heated seat, maybe you have to go through a menu or comment below if you know how to do it. It won't help me today, but next time. All right, so we're gonna signal right again on the steering wheel, which I keep forgetting. Uh, can I go right on red here? I hope so. I think we can. All right. Shifts us down to first when we get to uh, come to a full stop. So you gotta remember that. You're in third gear, you're coming to a light, you think you want to downshift to second, you got to make sure that you're not going 10 and downshift to first because the car put you at first. So it really puts you at first, I believe, for, as a safety when you get to a stop. It is so hot in here with the heated seat. Uh, of course, we're going to lose our uh, little magic turn here. How slow is this guy going to go? Oh my God. You're not going to tip over, I promise. <laughs> All right. We'll try to, there's a little S turn here, which I'm gonna to try to hit just right. Again, I feel the steering was a little too high. I wish it was lower, but if I put it lower, which I'll show you now, this is how I would drive. I can't see the top of the tack, so that doesn't do me any good. All right, we'll try to accelerate here. Wow. <laughs> Just one acceleration.
handles very well. You get a lot of mechanical noises, which I really, really like. All right. Sure, now they're leaving a signal again on the steering wheel. That's just hard for me. I guess if you've, I've never owned a Ferrari. I guess if you've owned a modern Ferrari, you know that and it's easy. So I am gonna assume you're gonna get used to that. The upshifts and downshifts are great, very easy to do. Handling is way better than you think. Yeah, you know, I never thought the Ferrari California handled very well. Very comfortable in here. Do you need all these options? New? No, not at all. So that's why you want to buy like this, slightly used with all the options. Everything in here works great. Very easy to use all the controls, though it does take a little while to get used to. Uh, the directionals. But otherwise, it's a fantastic car and you guys should buy it. If I had the money, I'd be buying it today. Thanks again for watching, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you next time.